that his families in Dublin, Ardra, Castle Comer, Cryard and Cork. Thank you for everything you have all done for Daddy down through the years. We are a small family, but Daddy was extremely proud of you all and very proud of our Comfort name. He would be delighted to see you all here together today. Personally, I'd like to thank, say a huge thank you to Mark Carpenter and his wonderful team for the job they have done over the last few days, organising everything for me. From the first call, phone call I made to Mark, I knew Daddy was in safe hands. Thanks so much, Mark. The wonderful staff on the Nor Ward in St. Luke's Hospital, Kilkenny, thank you for the amazing work you, you all did with Daddy over the past three weeks. A special word of thanks to Anne-Marie. The love and care she showed to Daddy on his final few days was so wonderful to see, and it was so comforting for all our family to know Daddy was so well looked after by her. <laughs> Father John, thank you for your beautiful service last night and here today. Thank you kindly for your prayers for Daddy over the years. Since Daddy came into St. Fig's house, he also made a friend in you. Jade, Jessica, Chelsea and Ollie, thank you for your beautiful singing yesterday and today. Daddy always loved coming down to the day room and sitting listening to you singing and having a chat with you all then afterwards. He had a great time for you and was forever asking about you all. Thank you so much. The staff of St. Fig's house, Thank you all from the bottom of my heart for all you have done for myself and Daddy over the last five years. The work you all do is outstanding. There was never a problem, no matter what was looked for or had to be done. I know Daddy was hard work at times for a lot of you, especially when he wanted to lie in and wouldn't get up for you in the morning. I knew Daddy was in safe hands with you all, you were all like a new family to him, and I know he loved you all dearly. Thank you so much for taking care of him. <laughs> I made a phone call five years ago to a lady, and I can honestly say it was the best phone call I ever made. Joan Duke, Director of Nursing at St. Fig's House. I honestly can't thank you enough for what you have done, not just for Daddy, but for me as well. You truly are an amazing person, and I thank you for the wonderful love and care that you have given Daddy. He, he adored the ground you stood on, and although he might have not shown it, but he was half afraid of you too. <laughs> I knew Daddy was nervous at first going into St. Fix, but the love and support you showed to him from day one I knew he was going to love every day, and that he did. You have given Daddy five wonderful years, and I will be forever grateful for what you have done. You were always on the other end of the phone, day or night, especially over the last three weeks when I needed you most. Thank you so much, John, from both me and Daddy. <laughs> Finally, to Daddy himself, thank you for being you. The most amazing Daddy. I'm proud of Grandad. You, you have two beautiful grandkids that you adored and they adored you. Although your time with Tommy and Kriya was short, it was, time that we will it was a time that we will cherish forever. Tommy will miss his weekend visits to you for his fiver for his money box. We will keep your memory alive forever. I know if I am the fa half the father to Tommy and Kriya that you have been to me, I will be doing very well. Martin Comfort, I stand here on behalf of you today. I am, and always will be, very proud to be your son. <laughs> I love you. Rest in peace, Teddy.
So thanks, Craig. Well done. So I invite you all now to please stand as we pray our concluding prayer. So grant, we pray, Almighty God, that Martin, your servant, who today has journeyed from this world, may by his sacrifice be cleansed and so receive the everlasting joys of the resurrection. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Again, thank you for being here and for all who took part in Martin's um, Requiem Mass. And I know we'll all keep Craig and all of the family in our prayers over the days and months ahead. So now the Lord be with you all. Let us bless the Lord. So now we come to our farewell prayers. So before we go our separate ways, we take leave of our brother. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. We pray for a few moments for um, Martin's soul. We bless his coffin now with um, holy water from the baptismal font as a reminder of the day that his parents brought him to church to share with him their greatest gift, the gift of faith. The day he joined the Christian community, the day he began his Christian journey, a journey that has now ended in heaven, the day he received the promise of heaven for the first time. We also incense his coffin to show our reverence and respect for the human body as a dwelling place of God's spirit. We bury his body today, but we now know his soul is gone to God like the smoke from the incense. So the response is, receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Saints of God, come to his aid, come to meet him, angels of the Lord. May Christ who called you take you to himself. May angels lead you to Abraham's side. Eternal rest grant unto Martin, O Lord, and may perpetual light shine upon him. We pray now into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings you gave Martin in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn towards us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and we are with you and with our brother forever. In peace now, we take Martin out of clock to his place of rest. Amen. Thank you.
Letting go and in all. 